and adds to a list of other performers already announced for this space. The Park Theater, Bruno Mars, Cher, Stevie Nicks. So what makes this one so special that he gets his own press conference? John Kesselamides of the Review <laughs> Journal is here to chat with us about that and much more. Well, Ricky, you heard that song and you kind of moved a I'm little. I'm living the La Vida Loca. Doesn't you, it make you want to groove even You were still grooving. Now? Uh -huh. you I were, saw that tour uh, in Mandalay Bay years ago. Did you? Was it a long good? long time ago. It was wild. Uh -huh. It was wild. I so, mean, he was on top at the in the prime of his touring career right then. Wow, it was something else. So, it I mean, really that's was. what I was thinking, that he would put on a great show. Yeah. So, you think this is a good idea? I think it, I think it's going to be artistically great, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I think he's got a, still has a very uh, wide fan base, and they, they've done their homework over there, and they know what, what will and won't work at the Park Theater. And he's the third actual resident to be announced. Mm -hmm. uh, Bruno Mars, Cher, and now him, and Stevie Nicks opens, as you said, right. on December 17th with the Pretenders for a single show. So, that's the lineup right now at the Park Theater. Yeah, I think that he has a following, too, probably, uh, not just here in the United States. Obviously, they call it internationally, yeah. mm -hmm. so... Huge Latin following, and he's a great performer. I've seen him a number of times since then at benefit shows. He can really dance, that mm -hmm. guy. Oh yeah, uh, he can really shake move the bonbon. Bon. That's, That's what he's known it. for. He has songs of that, uh, titled as such, so you know <laughs> he, he can he sings it and dances it. Yeah. yeah, and I had some people actually tweet me and say that you know some of his songs that actually aren't even in English are they like those songs even better than some yeah. of the Americanized ones. Yeah, he's a, he's a real deal. I just remember how how the uh, response was when he came out on stage during that particular tour, and it was like it sounded like a missile coming into that Mandalay mm -hmm. Bay Event Center. He had such a strong following. And a buddy of mine was a guitarist on that tour, uh, Jerry Lopez. We're going to talk about him a little later, but he's with Santa Fe and the Fat City Horns. He toured with Martin during okay. those days. So Ricky has a, a history and a, a affiliation in Las Vegas. He was all, his team also put on Storm at Mandalay Bay years ago at the yeah. theater, uh, yeah. the production show that was a, a brief a brief sale, production. Yeah, brief. Yeah, okay. Well, let's talk about Santa Fe and mm -hmm. the Fat City Horns. They are back at the Palms, right? Yeah, they were gone for about four months, mm -hmm. and uh, they were at the South Point for a period of time, and they, their best business ever and their best performances have been at the Lounge at the Palms. They tried the South Point, didn't work, and uh, four months ago went dark. We didn't know what was going to happen with them, mm -hmm. and they just did return this week. And that place was slammed. It was standing room only, and it was really fun. And I, <laughs> I was hanging out with Donato Cabrera of the Las Vegas Philharmonic at my table. He had never seen the band before, and he wow. was blown away. Yeah, but they have, it, it's it's one of the great. They call it the Healing, one of the great nights of entertainment in town. It's 10:30 p.m. start, and it costs ten dollars plus a drink, but it is well worth it. Yeah, ten it bucks is. is nothing, and it's a huge. So they have how many people in the? There's 15 people 15. on stage. That's yeah, crazy. and yeah, these guys are, are in Celine's band. Donnie and Marie have been in Jersey Boys. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Pepe Jimenez, a drummer, was toured with oh, Carlos Santana. You know, he's in Baz now. Jamie Hosmer with Clint Holmes' show. The, this band was Clint's show at Clint's band at, during his show at Harris. So they mm -hmm. are all top notch musicians and um, it's a whale of a time. There's no better band anywhere than these guys. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, and then the Win Win uh, Headliner Spash is this Friday. This is something that Jeff Savilico um, puts on every year, and um, it's Friday at the Rio, and I know you've been to this many years, and you'll probably be there Friday. Um, yep. Talk a little bit about what people can expect well, for that. Uh, Jeff Savilico is the great uh, 5.30 uh, show at uh, Bugsy's Cabaret mm -hmm. at Flamingo Las Vegas. He's the great unicyclist, juggler, and comic, mm -hmm. and he started this when he moved into town a few years ago, and this is, this is an organization that connects entertainers with uh, charities. And uh, it's, it starts at 7.30 p.m. at the Rio, and it's a fundraiser. The show actually itself starts at 9. There's a, a silent auction beforehand. Mm -hmm. And you have performances by Clint Holmes, the cast of Baz, uh, some some other some other artists who are going to be on stage with him and uh, and Jeff right now is recovering from knee surgery yeah, he is. minor knee surgery he's able to hobble around but he's not able to do his show he, that comes back in February right. so this is his way to give back and he's 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 one of the great uh, performers we have in town in terms of his charity work Jeff is really cool uh, he does a lot definitely and that's always a really good show so if you can get a chance go out there hey Chumley was supposed to come on he took the wrong exit so uh, from Chumley. Pawn Stars to talk about his uh, charity here raising. Um, Obviously, for the the Heart Foundation, and I know you met with him this week. Yeah, he has a GoFundMe page. If you go to to his um, Facebook is. page, there he is. Yeah, and I donated to that this yes, week. Yes, I saw you on uh -huh. there. Hundred dollars from Castle Media. Hundred bucks, Chum, <laughs> and my man Chumley. I love the guy. He's uh, I spent some time with him uh, this week, and uh, there's a column about him. And he's gonna there's gonna be more solo work from Chumley on Pawn Stars when they relaunch the season, the okay. new season in January. More he's gonna be in more storylines on his own. So he's fired up about that. Yeah. All right, great, perfect, and you can read more about that in Cat's column called. Cats and much, much more. There it is in the Review Journal, and Cats will be back next Wednesday. Cats.